guys, it's your boy Straya J Downs, and welcome back to another video. Today, we will be reviewing FFA Cup Final Adelaide United versus Melbourne City. Let's get into it. This game was one of the most, not really confusing by game, but a very easy game for Adelaide. So Adelaide ended up winning 4-0. That's right. 4-0. Couldn't say it any freaking louder. It's the biggest FFA Cup win and it is Adelaide's third FFA, FFA Cup. They have won two in a row now. Last year they beat Sydney. Now they've beaten Melbourne City. But there is one meme going around. That is very funny. You know how last round where I told you that Perth Glory lost their jerseys, or if I didn't tell you, well, Perth Glory lost their jerseys in a flight to, I think it was Melbourne. They lost their jerseys on the plane, so they had to, they lost their home jerseys, which I meant to wear the purple ones. They lost them, so they had to wear the white ones. So they're making the meme that they lost Melbourne City on the plane because they didn't turn up. Now, I'm going to show you the highlights from that game and all four goals from the My Football app, which is owned by Fox Sports and the A League. So, let's have a little peek, not really a peek, it's a four and a half minute video of these highlights. Our cup final fever hits the city of churches once again. It's almost becoming a yearly ritual, listen, if truth be told. Where better to hold this showpiece occasion under lights on a Wednesday night? Tonight it's all about that particular trophy as Adelaide United meets Melbourne City. Noon finds the gap expertly. Jamison and McLaren! Well, in the sort of form he's in, Almost put that down as a banker as 1 0 for City. Famously sent off in the final two years ago after the altercation with the ball boy against Sydney. Oh, that's a lucky ball. Al Hassan Torre, Milios Nitsch in the middle. He went near post. Al Hassan Torre. What a finish. He has simply exploded onto the scene in this year's FFA Cup. This youngster's on fire. The balls keep getting fired. This one through the guts of the City defence, and Michael Murray is onto it. Torre waiting. It's Al Hassan Torre. Has he delayed too long? Halloran. City scramble well and prevent a second goal. But well, they were all at sea defensively there. Okay, he's having a good game. Right fullback. Torre all wrapped up by Delbridge, but he's got the better of him. Threads it through. Riley McGree's away. Miller Usnick square. Halloran as well. It's two for the Reds. One hand on the FFA Cup for Adelaide United. Thanks to Ben Halloran. And he was just overcome with the emotion of the moment. Let's talk about a guy who feels football, lives football. What a man. Metcalf was offside there. No flag. Still way to safety for now by Barone. Pinched by Craig Noon. That should have been 2-1 and he knows it. It's beautifully controlled by McGree to take him clear of Volante and open up the pitch here. Halloran. And a tap in. Nikola Milosnic. The cup is staying in Adelaide. Surely now. Becomes the first player in the short history of this competition to score in two cup finals. Not quite gone as he hoped tonight, to say the very least. Well, this is going to be the biggest round of applause of the night. Al Hassan Toure, what a performance! He'll be on the back page tomorrow, make no mistake. When you're a kid in a family playing war torn Africa, and you get come and make a home in Adelaide. 15,000 people stand to cheer you as one of these. Bob Seth, a lovely ball by the Norwegian. Square is Riley McGree if they can find him. Here is McGree! The 
cherry on top from the boy from Gawler. Riley McGree makes it four. Get the ribbons out. Get the red ribbons out. The cup is staying here in the city of churches. He knows the job is done. Here's Sean Rowe. Is there consolation? Jamison. Not even that at the end for the former Adelaide United fullback. What a mighty performance it's been from the Reds. There it is. Cup Kings indeed. The biggest ever margin of victory in an FFA Cup final. Al Hassan Torre had a night to remember. He certainly wasn't alone. The Reds, the first team to retain the FFA Cup and the first team to win it three times as Melbourne City become the latest away side to fall victim to the Cup final curse. Let's enjoy it, lads. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, just before Michael Jakobsen and the team lift up the trophy, the coach, Herchan Vavik, and they do that the winners! Now, as you saw there, it looked a very entertaining game, but Adelaide dominated with a very, very high percentage of possession. They had a lot, lot of shots. As you can see, that was all of the shots. That's why all the shots. Melbourne City has like two on target the whole game. All of Adelaide's shots were on target. Or most of the five out of the six, I think six out of the twelve are on target, and they buried four. So good on Adelaide! Congratulations to them, the first team to win back-to-back -back FFA Cups. Melbourne City, they can't win a bloody game. That is that is the problem for them. Okay, I'm not giving crap to Melbourne City, but they were nowhere to be seen. They really need to sort out their defence. Yes, January. Transfer window is coming, and I will be doing a, a one episode a week of the transfer roundup. Now, before I end this video, I have to thank you guys again for 30 subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, like, uh, subscribe, and comment what your opinion on the game was. So, it's been your boy Stray Day Downs. Peace.